Okay, today what we're going to do is we are going to change the uh, gas shock on the seat on a 2014 RT Limited. Um, so we will uh, go ahead and pop the seat. And as you know, um, we grab it up and pick it up. Now, today what we're doing is, is the gas shock that's on there um, is being replaced by another one that has more pressure on it and you can turn the key and it'll pop up and we'll show you that later but we bought a uh, shock called a Stabilis and we bought it from an outfit called Pro Value. Now here's the model number it's a SG 350911. Uh, I paid $11. Now, you can get this at uh, O'Reilly's also for, I believe it's $25. What we need to do is, here's your shock here, and down here, there is a clip. It's just like on uh, the shock on your uh, side luggage cases. It's got a little clip. You get a screwdriver under and you pull it out and then this will snap off of a ball joint. Same with up here. And we will do that and show you how it's done. Okay. What you need to do is get you a small screwdriver like this. Real thin blade. And then right down in here, this is on the, the bottom side. Uh, where this, uh, the gas shock connects to uh, the bike. Just get this underneath this clip and just should just pop out. Okay, I went ahead and, and used this small screwdriver and I got down in here and I popped this out. Uh, should all I have to do now is pull it out, as you can see, and it comes off that little joint, ball joint there. And we have to do the same with the top, but I've only got... one set of hands here so I'm gonna leave that on there for right now and uh, we'll do the top one uh, right like that and same thing you pop it out like that and this will pull off as you can see and then you just replace it with the old one or the new one and pop it back in pop the clips on and you're done we'll show you now I got them off or got it off uh, you can see that the one right here is the stock shock and the one up here is the new stabilis um, it looks like there might be just a hair difference in length, but I really don't think it's going to make any difference. So we will put that on and uh, I'll let you see how it is on the opening. Okay, we got the top one on. Only had two hands, so I didn't do it. This one, we went ahead and uh, I just snapped it on. I pulled a screwdriver out from under the clip and it's locked in so let's go ahead and see what happens and get a shock replaced so it takes a little bit more effort to uh, close it but uh, let's see what it's like let me get around the other side when we open it
Yeah, it comes up all by itself. It uh, makes it a little handier. So I hope this helped and see you soon. Um, like I say, the, the gas shock that are replaced on the seat was, was on my 2014 RT Limited. Uh, now I was just kind of curious because my 2010, uh, I was curious whether it, it would be the same on that seat. So, according to the old one, which is pretty much the same as the new one, uh, yes, it would work. So, uh, I guess uh, any of you people out there that want to do their 2010 up, um, you can go ahead and do it with this uh, gas shock. So, there again, hope it helped. Uh, have a good ride. See you later. Bye.